Hi everyone, it's Andy. Welcome back to another uh, episode of our biohacking series in Flamagaden. Now, if you missed our last episode, we talked about the very first blood test that you should be taking to test if you have uncontrolled inflammation in your body. We gave you a lot of juicy details about the CRP test. But today, you know, I'm going to focus on those out there who seems to be getting COVID over and over again, or literally any other virus that's floating out in the air, right? And if you're one of those unfortunate few who seems to be getting sick every few months when a new COVID variant mutates or arrives or announced, which are, whatever you want to call it, it really might be because your immune system is overwhelmed by too much spike proteins. That's right, those crazy little buggers that's inside the COVID virus, right? Now, your body can be overwhelmed by too much spike protein in one of two ways. One is you caught COVID naturally uh, through a very large viral load, which is typical for you know all those superheroes out there that was working in the medical field, treating us, the doctors, the nurses, and you know they get exposed consistently. So maybe you know if you're one of those, then maybe you have a large viral load. But for the most of us, that's probably not the case. For most of us out there, you probably got the spike proteins through the jabs. And the more jabs you got, the more spike protein that was introduced into your body. Now, according to esteemed cardiologist, Dr. Peter McCullough, if you're sick over and over again with COVID, it might be because of spike protein buildup inside your body and your body is constantly fighting it, lowering your ability to fight anything else. Isn't that crazy? Your body is constantly fighting spike protein and it doesn't have the ability to fight anything else. Now, measuring the amount of spike protein in your body isn't easily done by everyone. But don't worry, you know, Dr. McCool has got, got you covered. He recommends you measuring the antibodies of the spike protein, which is very easy to do for, through an easy test. He says a natural infection should be between zero to 1,000, the lower the better, obviously, and you want to detox whatever spike protein you have out of your body, which doesn't naturally go away. Now, if you have a robust immune system, which I hope everyone has, and never got the jab, but caught COVID naturally, you shouldn't have a high number. I recently tested my numbers, my antibodies, and my number is 12.99. Not too shabby, right? So if you're one of those people who keeps getting COVID over and over and over again, please get your antibodies tested for the spike protein as recommended by Dr. Peter McCullough. Your immune system will thank you.